This is part three now of the Alien Visitation Blender Challenge and I wanted to give you an update and show you a few things that I have done since the last video. Okay, so first of all, I created this little logo here which is reminiscent of the Alien vs. Predator. I just didn't do the P, alright? So uh, the concept is that this is a, uh, is a tour bus, alright? And you can pay your money and take a tour to an alien planet and potentially see aliens. So I've created that. I'll probably make this as a logo that I can put on various other things as well. Oh, my dog's snoring in the background. Um, I also wanted to show you that I modeled uh, this crate here. All right, so um, I may be doing a video on how I created that if you're interested. And there may be a couple of additions and it looks like I have a little error in there. So I'm going to fix that up. But I've got the crate in there. And what I tend to do is, um, what I have been doing anyhow, is putting the original down here. All right, so I can make modifications and these are all instances of the thing. You'll also notice that there are some guns now in the uh, in the image there's a gun here here and there's one up at the front and I want to talk to you just briefly about the gun so there it is so this is just a, a very simple gun model all right that hopefully will add to the scene of course if you're gonna go looking for aliens you may need some some weapons of some sort um, I'm making this gun available the blender file for this gun on the Zero Bio Patreon if you want to get the gun. Uh, right now, it has a subdivision level of two on it. I'm gonna bring that down to one, but you are welcome to get the gun and you can try it without that and see if you can modify it a bit so it can be even more low poly. Uh, I guess I put these down. I'm not sure if I'm keeping those. Uh, I still have yet to do straps holding down the, the gas cylinders. I also did some partition here I can't seem to zoom in on that so all right so just something to uh, to put in the scene and there may be a couple more things that I'm going to do but I may decide to do that off camera and just sort of finish it up already this is going to be a lot of texturing work and I figure uh, I'm going to do the front part with you very simply and then in texturing I'll do some of that uh, with you some of it might be on the patreon we'll see all right, and I'll probably will throw in a few more pipes and wires and stuff like that, but I don't want to do too, too many things. Maybe there will be a little instrument cluster here and there. I'm just, I'm just not sure. But what I'd like to do for you in this video simply is finish the front and then call the modeling mostly done, at least for the videos. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select that piece. I'm going to slash key to isolate it, turn off the mirror and, and the array. And so there's that single panel that I've got that I can texture and add more geometry to if I want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, press two for edge selection. Let me turn my screencast keys on, although it's not all that necessary. Shift Alt and click that edge. Shift D to duplicate, pull it out. P to break it out. So I've got that and I'm going to get rid of the modifiers. And then I'm going to come back to this. I'll turn that stuff back on and I've got that piece. And what I want to do is the front is down there let's let's get everybody back just so you can see that I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slide it down towards the front like that okay now we'll see if my 3d cursor is in the middle by taking this and generating a mirror for it looks pretty good actually and so I'm just going to isolate that so that's what I've got. So I'm going to apply the mirror, come in and F to make a face. Okay, now, uh, it looks like it might be facing the right way. Let's just bring back that other stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna look down through here and now I'm going to look at that. I have a feeling it might be red. No, it is blue. But I may have actually a couple of things that are flipped that I'll have to work on. So I've got snap to vertex. I'm going to switch that to snap to edge, and I'm just going to drag this and snap it there. So we've got that on there. So let's turn that off so it looks somewhat normal. Okay, so my 3D cursor is right in the middle, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, I think I'll bring in a cylinder, 
I'll leave it at 32 so it's nice and smooth. Rotate it 90. And I'm going to scale this kind of as big as I can get it as a front uh, porthole to look through. So I think that's probably pretty good. Let's just focus on those two things. Make sure the cylinder is facing the right way. And it is. So I'm going to uh, create a hole. So I'm going to select that. Generate a Boolean. Leave it on difference with the eyedropper. Select that. And there I've got my hole. Okay, like that, you can see I've got a hole. Okay, I'm going to bring that back, and in three face selection, I'm going to select that face, Control I to invert the selection, X faces to delete them. So I'm going to look from the front, go into wireframe, S to scale. I'm going to press I now, come in, hold Shift if you want, just a little bit past that. And then I'm going to extrude it back in the Y, and I'm going to press S to scale. And scale it in a bit and then X faces so I can take this now bring it close it's gonna go like that but I'm also going to press 2 for edge selection shift alt and click the outer edge and just extrude it back a little bit so when I pull it in I've got that like that let's say okay let's check its orientation it's blue good okay let's do some beveling Two for edge selection, shift alt and click that edge, control B, pull, and I want three edges in there, and then this one with three. Okay, I can take that and shade smooth, and I have my hole. Let me put a piece of glass in there, and that's that's what it looks like. On the side, I may put a few little doodads, or I may do some texturing, we'll see. But that is going to be, as far as I can tell, now I may need some some ceiling lights up here, whether they're you know just long fluorescent tubes or, or something else. But that's the basic ship right there. And of course, outside of it, I will have some form of environment. Either we're in space and you see stars and a couple of planets, like I put these UV spheres just to you know pretend that we're in space. Um, or maybe we've uh, landed on the planet and uh, there's some desert or grasslands or something and a big planet in the, on the horizon. I'm not sure, but that's going to be some other uh, work that I will do. And I'll talk to you about that when I get there. But that's the basic model minus probably a few things. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. And please come back and check out the next video where I will probably be doing the texturing. And don't forget that the, the gun model is available on the Patreon or will be very soon. And possibly some crate modeling. This is pretty straightforward, but if uh, you're a relative beginner and you are interested in this particular crate, then uh, I can show you how to do that. And I'll put that on the Patreon as well. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.